Hey Gratitude Seeker, how are you today? I wanted to ask you something. Do you know what FOMO means? It's the fear of missing out. And it's quite interesting because I've seen myself do it and uh, I was very aware of the process and where it actually led me. It usually happens when you have to make a decision, the fear of missing out on something can make you feel stuck, can make you postpone that decision or can make you fear that your decision isn't a good one. And that's not very helpful for us when it comes to feeling grateful and feeling happy. There are two other definitions that I found regarding FOMO. One is a pervasive apprehension that others might be having rewarding experiences from which one is absent. And another one that is uh, more um, modern, let's say. Anxiety that an exciting or interesting event may currently be happening elsewhere, often aroused by posts seen on social media. All of these definitions, in my opinion, point to something. The fact that our focus, our energy is directed towards something we might be missing, something we don't want or something we want and we think we can't have. And they can lead us into vicious circles of unhappiness, blame, complaint, which actually don't lead anywhere. Just to the same kind of feelings going on inside of us on and on without actually having any benefit for us. So my take on this is that we have two options to get out of this vicious circle. One is to look for solutions. One way of looking for solutions is asking better questions instead of why can't I be doing or be having something change it with how can I have that, how can I be that, how can I have that experience, for instance. In that moment, your brain starts looking for solutions, starts thinking of ways, it starts being creative, and it might actually find a solution that works for you. And the other one is to focus on gratitude, on what you already have. Sure, when you make a decision to be with someone or to do a certain activity, this means that all other things are cast aside and you won't be doing those things or you won't be with those people. But focusing on that will just drain your energy and will make you not appreciate what you already have and the decision that you already made. So the second way of dealing with FOMO is by being grateful and by choosing to see what's great about your situation, about your decision, about your spouse, for instance, about that thing that you might think that other people have have better of. Some things only seem to be better than your experiences, that what you're experiencing right now. It's a trick of the mind and it just sees the positives and it compares to the negative way you might be seeing your situation but it doesn't mean that it's true and by appreciating your current situation you might actually get to live that kind of experience you draw it closer instead of pushing it away through fear and don't forget that a few episodes ago we talked about how our brain gets used to both the bad and the good and sometimes we're just blinded we can't see the good that's around us And we think that the good that we want is somewhere around there, especially when we see it on uh, people's Facebook or Instagram or something like this, when our rational mind actually knows that those things are just the highlights and not the whole picture and not the true situation. Like Oprah says, be thankful for what you have, you'll end up having more. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you will never ever have enough. Thank you so much for listening and for sharing. I really appreciate you spending this time with me. I wish you an amazing day. And don't forget, keep seeking gratitude.